My name's Ian Ham. I'm a Yorta Yorta man. I was uh, born in Melbourne, but my family's from Shepparton. Uh, I was uh, adopted at the age of three months um, and was brought up in Yarrawonga, which is only, it would be 40 kilometres from Shepparton at most, which is really quite an odd thing. I could have gone anywhere in Australia, could have gone anywhere in the world. I end up 40 kilometres from where I'm from. I was adopted by uh, Charlie and Mary Ham. Um, the first of three Aboriginal children they adopted. I've got two adopted sisters and an older brother, their natural son, Barry. He's my, I call him my big brother, because he is. Um, and they're still my mum and dad, and they still live in Yarrawonga. I ended up there in Bendigo. I was there for three years, 83 to 85. Um, I didn't pass, but I learned a lot of things, good and bad. Um, I learned a lot about myself more than anything else. It was the first time I mixed with other Aboriginal people. It was also where I found out where I was from, who I was and where I was from. I, I, when I finished college, or rather college finished with me, <laughs> I went back to Yarrawonga for eight months, then moved to Melbourne and have lived in Melbourne ever since. Um, and it was while I was in Melbourne that I um, first was contacted and made contact with my family, my Aboriginal family, my natural family. Um, and that's been a wonderful journey since then. I've never been in the position of having to choose between families, for which I'm eternally grateful. Um, I know there are many ab Aboriginal people who've had to, or put in that unfair position. I'm eternally grateful um, that I've never been put in that situation. Um, so it is, I, I look at what I've had as extremely fortunate, um, particularly when I look at the circumstances of others. I wasn't in a home for very long. I didn't grow up in one uh, as a ward of the state. Uh, the family I grew up with was my mum and dad. Um, uh, the family I came from are wonderful people. Um, so I, I look at myself in those circumstances that others find themselves in and I'm extraordinarily fortunate. Which probably drives me to do things I do um, uh, um, in the community more as a way of repaying that fortune.